Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. What is happening, my fellow super friends? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm Steven, and this is Just BSing. And as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we have some more juicy McFarland Superpowers news. And this is news that had not shown up in our usual sources yet. So I wanna give a big shout out to our friends Alex and Mightwing, who both on Instagram and YouTube let us know that this news was out. And it came out about a week ago, still haven't seen it in our normal sources. So thank you, Alex and Mightwing. We really appreciate you guys keeping us on target. And yes, the lineup for Wave 8 has leaked. And I do have to preface this by saying that, like the gold label Brainiac that we'll be receiving in Wave 7, we could have some surprises. These could change, but these are very, very likely going to be what we see in Wave 8. So with that out of the way, let's dive right in and look at our upcoming Wave 8 action figures. And up first, a new action figure. And no surprises here, if you were one of the eagle-eyed few who caught him on the back of the Blue Beetle bug packaging in the Wave 7 promotional materials, it's Booster Gold. Now, this is an awesome addition. I had been looking forward to a Booster and Blue Beetle. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put them both in the same wave, uh, maybe as a, a two-pack, but very glad that he will be coming in Wave 8. No photos or anything yet, so we just have the name to go off of, but you can see a little bit of him in the Blue Beetle packaging, as I mentioned before. Looks like it's going to have comic accurate colors and all of that kind of thing, so definitely a good addition to the Superpowers lineup. Now, what's McFarlane Superpowers without some repaints? There's possibly several of them in this wave, so we'll kick it off with, of course, yet another Batman. We are getting the Dark Knight Return style Batman. Now, this is most likely going to be a repaint of the Wave 1 Hush style Batman. It seems like that fits the best. Although this could be a new mold for this Dark Knight Return style Batman. You'd think it'd need to be a little bit bulkier, but that Hush style Wave 1 Batman kind of fits that. So that's my guess is that that will be a repaint. Dark Knight Return style. I'm hoping for the black and gray. I've been wanting a black and gray version of Batman for a while. And so if it is going to be a repaint, though that's not my favorite body style, if we get it in black and gray, Dark Knight Returns, love the comic, I'll be happy with that one. And next we have another possible repaint, though this also could be a new mold, and it's going to be the Max Fleischer style Superman. Now guys, I gotta tell you, I really love the Max Fleischer style Superman. I loved the cartoons when I was a kid. I watched those on repeat. I remember vividly always wanting to go to the video store and rent the VHS cartoons of the Max Fleischer Superman and uh, really like how he looks. I think he's very just an old school classic style Superman. But I'm wondering if this might be a new mold only because the Superman mold that we have thus far, even with the updated head, just doesn't really fit this Superman. And Chris and I talked about it when this news first leaked, when we were talking about what we would put in this video. It's not, it's not a fit. So we're hoping that this is a new mold. It's probably not. <laughs> it'll most likely just be the Superman we already have with the Max Fleischer colors, symbol, all of that good stuff. I will still like it. I really, like I said, I really, really like the Max Fleischer Superman, but I'm hoping, oh, come on, McFarlane, please give us a new mold. Give us a Kenner style mold of Superman and let this be the first one. Guys, cross your fingers and your toes. Let's hope that this Superman is a new mold. And next we have one that Probably most of you don't even have the original yet from Wave 4. This is Black Manta, and we are getting Black Manta in a black suit this time. So I don't think this is going to be a Walmart exclusive. I honestly, since the last two waves haven't had any, I think they're done with the, the exclusives. So this will hopefully be easier for you guys to find so you can get your Black Mantas into your collection. We were lucky to find Black Manta, third-party seller, that wasn't price gouging. I know so many of you are still looking. I am hoping for you guys that you were able to find them. I have seen reports in the last week that Walmarts are finally starting to discount the old waves that are just sitting on the shelves. And hopefully that means that we'll be getting some new waves that haven't hit the shelves yet coming into the, those spaces. I've seen multiple people on a Facebook group and on Instagram finding Black Manta in the stores at Walmart. So guys, keep your eyes out. See if you can find that Wave 4 one. If you can't, 
rest assured that you should be able to pick up this one coming in Wave 8 in the black suit. Now we've got some more repaints that are coming in multi-packs. One is listed as a gold label. It is Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, the Trinity, together in a pack. And it's listed as B&W with accents. So my guess is these are going to be a black and white version of the characters, probably with some pops of color, maybe in the trunks, things like that. So not exactly sure what to expect with this one until we see some promotional images. Sounds like it might be kind of cool, but at the same time, most likely all three are just going to be black and white repaints of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman that we've seen so far. But we'll keep our eyes out for the promotional images to confirm. Could still be a very cool collector's item. The gold labels have largely been very good uh, in past McFarlane lines outside of superpowers. And we saw the gold label Brainiac that's coming in Wave 7. Very, very cool in my opinion. So this may be a cool one to pick up but I gotta wait until we see those promotional images. And then we have what's listed as San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So we may not be able to pick this up through McFarland Toys or find these in stores. Hopefully we will. If you're looking for something like this, it is a black suit variant of Batman packaged with a whirly bat and a bat wing that are repainted black. I kind of wish these were separated. I you know, already have the black suit Batman, so don't really need another one of those but would love to have the Batwing and the Whirly Bat in the repainted black. So now, of course, seeing the Batwing and Whirly Bat being repainted black, it begs the question, could we see a Batmobile repainted black? And I kind of really hope so. I do really like the blue Kenner style classic colors, but if we have a black suit variant of Batman, man, that would be great to have those black vehicles to go along with them. So this is another set that we'll have to keep our eyes on, look for promotional images, and see if it's even something that is going to be available through McFarland Toys, or if it's a straight San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that we may not be able to get our hands on unless it's third party. And now, along with Booster Gold, two other new characters. First up is Metamorpho, a really interesting inclusion. We know that Metamorpho will be a character in James Gunn's Superman movie coming up in 2025, formerly titled Superman Legacy, now just Superman. So possible tie in there. Not a huge fan of the character of Metamorpho, if I'm honest, um, but that's just me. I think he looks very cool. He's very toyetic. So I think he will make a great action figure. Still no images yet, so we don't know exactly what he'll look like or which version we might see. I'm guessing it'll probably be more of that classic style metamorpho, kind of that orange and purple look that we're used to in the comics. And finally, we have a, another addition to the Green Lantern Corps. We are getting Guy Gardner, Green Lantern. Remains to be seen if he will come complete with his patented bowl cut, but my guess is he probably will. He'll probably look a little bit different than the other Green Lanterns. I don't anticipate this will be a repainted version of Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart. We know Guy Gardner typically has a different costume, kind of a vest with a collar. I'm anticipating that's what he'll look like. I hope that's what he'll look like. If he is a repainted version of Hal, maybe with a new head and the, and the bowl cut, still will look cool. We've seen Guy Gardner in the traditional Green Lantern uniform as well, but I would certainly prefer Guy Gardner to look like Guy Gardner does in the comics. So guys, what are we thinking? Let us know down in the comments if Wave 8 has anything you have been looking forward to. I will say, I'm actually really excited about this one. Again, I know it's probably gonna be repainted, but Max Fleischer Superman, love that style of Superman. So I'm really excited about that one. Depending on how the Dark Knight Returns style Batman looks, I'm always a big fan of that character. So that's one that's a potential win for me. The potential black and white three pack, not real sure about that one yet. Again, gotta see images of that and really, really excited about Booster Gold and Guy Gardner. I love both of those characters. Again, not as big a fan of Metamorpho, but really glad to see a new action figure coming to the line. And I know Metamorpho was one that many of you requested in our What's Next for McFarlane action figures. A lot of you really wanted to see Metamorpho, so I'm sure there are a lot of happy people out there that he will be coming to the Superpowers line. And we have another chance for you guys to grab a Black Manta. So hopefully you like the Black Suit version. If you still haven't been able to find the Super Friend style, here's your chance. Let's hope that he is much easier to get a hold of than the other one has been for many of you. And of course the repainted vehicles to go along with the Black Suit variant of Batman and another Black Suit variant of Batman included with those vehicles. Again, this is listed as SDCC, so we're not 100% sure yet 
if those will be available globally, but this set is also listed as another gold label. So my guess is even if it's only initially available to SDCC patrons, these will be available to all of us at some point. And again, I'm looking forward to seeing what these look like. Kind of wish it had been the Batmobile instead of maybe the Whirly Bat, but if we have a Whirly Bat and a Batwing, I don't think that black Batmobile is too far off. So guys, if you're new to the channel or you've stopped by a few times, haven't hit the subscribe button yet, and you're digging the vibe of the channel here at Just BSing, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll feel good for you, it'll feel good for us. We really enjoy having more friends to BS with and talk about McFarlane superpowers, movies, all of those kinds of things. Got a ton of McFarlane superpowers content, so if you are new to the channel and haven't seen those past videos, check out our Go Figure playlist. I'll link it to the end of this video and it'll be in the description. So go check out the back catalog. And while you're down there making yourself acquainted with that subscribe button, go ahead and give this video a like as well. So guys, we'll be keeping our eyes out for official images of Wave 8, as well as any additional information for future waves. Do like Alex and Mightwing did for us. If you hear about something, let us know down in the comments. Contact us on Instagram. Keep us updated if our usual sources aren't coming through for us, like this time, and we will shout you out on the channel if you give us a heads up on all of that. So until next time, keep collecting those superpowers, keep your eyes on this channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.